What's going on everybody? Survive and Protect and today we're going to talk about real quick go over a little bit of a survival mindset all right let's talk survival a little bit let's say let me give you a scenario let's say for whatever reason maybe a couple of scenarios let's say one for whatever reason it might be let's say all your toilets don't flush for whatever reason all right that's one scenario let's look at that one second scenario let's say for whatever reason um, whether it's the uh, local city government, maybe this the state, or maybe something came down from the federal government where they had to shut off your water supply at a certain time or after a certain time, and it don't it won't come back on until the next day, and you have family members, kids, whatever, and you have to go to the bathroom, right? What do you do if it doesn't flush for whatever reason it might be? It doesn't flush and you have to wait for whatever reason to um, get the toilet bowl to flush again there is an option all right maybe some of you haven't thought about it maybe some of you have so let's take a look all right so you got the uh, garbage bag it's a 13 ounce garbage bag you make the decision on what size you want to get. I just figured it's probably a good size. And even though you might have to deal with the, the stench <laughs> of the situation, um, having to go to the bathroom, especially doing the number two, all right? You might survive keeping this bag in here maybe on a couple of trips or a little bit more. If you have little ch children, you maybe be able to get a few more trips out of them. All right? So, real quick, what are the options here? You can use the bathroom, but then it doesn't flush and you got issues, right? The smell, um, the poison of it all. So, a good option is to just put your um, put a garbage bag inside the toilet. Now I'm not gonna put it all the way in, but I'm gonna show you so you get an idea. All right? Because there is water in here, and it does flush. So what you can do is you can take the uh, the garbage bag and actually put the bag inside. You go over here. You can put the garbage bag inside and then wrap you know wrap the edges around the toilet bowl and then push the, the bag inside and you will have to let your family know that this is how they will have to use the toilet bowl. Alright? So like I said, I'm not going to put it all in there, but you'll get the idea. You can stick this bag inside there and you know wrap everything around, wrap the outside, the top of the bag around the toilet bowl. Alright? And you have your, uh, I guess your makeshift toilet, all right? And then, of course, what you can do is after a few times of whoever uses the bathroom or if everybody uses the same, have to use the same toilet, or if you got more than one toilet in the house, put a bag, garbage bag in each one. And um, once you, whatever you decide how much you need it to be filled up before you get rid of it, then you can, of course, pull the bag out I suggest you get a um, garbage bag with something like this. That way you can just pull everything up, tie the strings, or tie this together, and then you can go out and dispose of it. All right. So that's just one tip I wanted to give you in case anybody ever gets in that situation and you just kind of can't figure out what you can do or should do or could do. All right. So. Yeah, you're going to have to deal with the smell. Um, it's a little bit, uh, it works a little bit better because you don't have anything sitting in the toilet and everybody's just piling on, you know what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? And um, you can dispose of it. Now, you might have a smell in the garbage cans, but if the only issue is just the water, whether it was government issued or you just got a problem at home, 
you know the uh, garbage trucks are going to come and pick it up so you won't have to deal with the smell too tough or too long depending on where you at and what time of the day or week that the uh, sanitation comes and picks up the garbage, right? So I just wanted to give you guys that little um, tip, survival tip, survival advice that you guys can do, all right? And the same thing if you are, uh, maybe if you're going camping and you can't get to any toilets or anything like that, you might want to carry some garbage bags and have to use it as an option, all right? Something to think about. Something to think about. Anyway, I appreciate y'all for supporting the channel, supporting the website. More courses are coming pretty soon. You can check us out, survivingprotectonline.com. You can check us out on YouTube at Survivor and Protect, Facebook, and Instagram. All right? So with that being said, shout out to my protectors. Just shout out to my survivalists. Shout out to my combat specialists. Survive and protect. I'm out. Peace.